Good morning. This is a presentation on uh, DC track circuit in RE area part 2. This part 2 deals with uh, TSR that is transient resistance. In part 1 we have dealt with the components of DC track circuit. In part 2 we will be exclusively dealing with the TSR. What is a transient resistance? The resistance which when applied across the track can open the track relay front contacts is known as transient resistance. Normally when a train is uh, on track the resistance uh, that is called also transient resistance is almost zero. But in case the train comes with on the rusty rails then there may be a, some resistance. That resistance permitted is 0.5 ohms. So minimum TSR permitted is 0.5 ohms. TSR meter. This is the meter that is used for calculating the train shunt. You can see there are two switches, left side and right side. The left side is used for adjustments from 0.05 ohms to 0.55 ohms. So this is your 0.05 ohms, slowly 0.1, 0.15. In this way, it is increased up to 0.55 ohms. If we want more than that, then we have to use the right switch. Here you can see it is set kept at 0 0.6. So this is combination. So when you keep this at 0 0.6, this should be kept at 0 0.55, not at 0, but at 0.55 ohms. Here you can see the circuit diagram. These are all provided in series and then this is continued in this way. So to keep a resistance of 0.7 ohms, you have to keep this at 0.55 and then this at 0.7 so that the resistance is 0.7 right switch is which is used from 0.6 to 3 ohms note keep the left side switch at 0.55 then adjust to the right side switch let me tell you about drop shunt value which is the tsr and pickup shunt value what is drop shunt value it is obtained by decreasing the tsr from 3 ohms and reducing the TSR till track relay front contacts open. So when you when your track is in picked up condition, if your track is picked up, then you should start from 3 ohms. 3 ohms, 2 ohms, 1 ohm, 0 0.95, 0 0.9, this way, your resistance comes from समझो 0.7 पे ट्रैक रिले ड्रॉप हो गया है यानी फ्रंट कांटेक्ट्स ओपन हो गया है योर टीपीआर इज ड्रॉप एट 0.7 देन उस ट्रैक सर्किट का टीएसआर 0.7 है ये पॉइंट है कि ये मिनिमम 0.5 ही रहना चाहिए अगर फॉर एनी रीजन योर ट्रैक रिले हैज नॉट ड्रॉप्ड इवन एट 0.4 देन योर ट्रैक सर्किट नीड्स टू बी एडजस्टेड एंड द वोल्टेज शुड बी रिड्यूस्ड at any cost 0.5 ohms TSR ya uske pehle 0 0.6, 0 0.7 the relay should drop. Similarly pickup shunt value is also taken and is obtained by adjusting TSR till the track relay picks up. Agar track relay 0 0.7 pe drop ho gaya, fir you have to increase 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 is tarah se 1 ohm pe agar wo track relay fir pick up ho gaya, then that is your pickup shunt value. Now TSR should be made available during all important inspections. Also because of traction return considerations, it is not possible for the traction return rail to be series bonded. Yani negative rail jo hum use karte hai, ek rail signaling ka hai, ek rail RE walon ka hai, wo RE wala rail jo hai, wo series bonded mein nahi rehta hai. Many parallel bondings will be there. We should ensure that they are connected. We should avoid disconnection to minimize the risk of loss of train shunt. So negative bonds are very important for dropping a track. Now when and where to use TSR? A train shunt resistance shall be taken every quarter, every three months. Our ESM maintain it should be done with the uh, in the presence of SSC also and every time the track circuit is adjusted or any alteration is made 
not only every three months whenever there is any adjustment of track circuit you have adjusted regulating resistance you have adjusted voltage then you need to do the train shunt resistance adjust uh, say check karna padega train shunt shall be taken not only at relay end not just relay end but also at the parallel portions of the track circuits like turnouts crossouts teen char jagah pe ye dekhna padega ki train shunt ho raha hai अगर शन नहीं हो रहा है तो बॉन्डिंग चेक करना पड़ेगा ड्रॉपिंग ऑफ ट्रैक रिले नौ इेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द बैलेंस रेसिस्टेंस वैल्यू बैलेंस रेसिस्टेंस कितना भी हो वेदर इट इज इंफिनिटी दट इज वेरी हाई और वेरी लो विद द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टी एस आर ऑफ पॉइंट फॉर यूम्स द ट्रैक रिले शुड ड्रॉप एट एनी कॉस्ट द वोल्टेज ऑन ट्रैक रिले शुड नॉट बी मोर देन एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द रेटेड ड्रॉपेबल वैल्यू so when tr you shot with tsr the track should drop at the same time voltage on the track relay should be less than 85% of rated drop away value here i have given you an example let us see that example pick up value of track relay is 1.5 volts and the maximum excitation permitted which is 300% for qt a2 relay is 4.2 volts now drop away value is not generally given so we take it as 68% of pick up value which comes to 0.952 now we know the drop away value as 0.952 we will now measure 85% of df we will calculate 85% of drop away that is 85% of 952 which is 0.8 volts so voltage on track relay when a 0.5 tsr is connected across the track should not be more than 0.8 volts simple logic jab tsr lagaoge aur voltage measure karoge on the track relay the voltage should not be more than 0.8 volts 0.8 volts se kam hi rehna chahiye but if it is more then nothing but you have to reduce the outgoing voltage thank you jai hind